Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unfog with Dr. Adhahar Parvin. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, a few more most expected mathematics question for this time. As you all know, Karnataka TET notification has been announced officially in the website and also 9th November is the last date to apply. So, aspirants who have not applied still, please apply right now because you all know that Karnataka TET is been a golden opportunity this time because once you qualify TET, then only you will be eligible to write GPSTR and CRIS. So, that's why aspirants don't lose this chance and make sure that you apply for this exam and work hard as much as possible and try to qualify this time. Okay. And in this journey, we are with you all and uh, as we already told you, please follow our free classes in this YouTube channel of Unfog with Dr. Atahar Parvin. You will get uh, playlists related to TET also, HSTR also and GPSTR also. Many classes are there. More than 500 classes are there in this YouTube channel. It is up to you to explore and search and watch the classes. Okay. So, let us start today's session. So, in this session, we are going to discuss about the second question which is the most expected question in Karnataka TET. Now let's talk about today's most expected question. So by analyzing the question paper of 2022 and 2023, I got these two similar questions. Now these are belonging to maybe chapters of uh, indices maybe or exponential or even algebraic expressions also. Okay, so that may include the algebraic identities also. So, keeping in mind these type of questions, according to me, they can ask a question like this. If a to the power of x is equal to b to the power of y is equal to c to the power of z and b square is equal to ac, then y is equal to. So, they are asking you to find the value of y. So, here... First, what you can do is uh, you can use the concept of uh, exponential and uh, you can uh, assume that there is a constant k and treat uh, a, b and c as equal to that constant k. So, in that scenario, a will be equal to k to the power 1 by x because x will go from left hand side to uh, right hand side in the place of power, then x will become 1 by x, right? So, like that only b will become k to the power 1 by y and c will become k to the power 1 by z and also b square is equal to ac is also given right so taking all this data you can just substitute things here so in place of k to the power 1 by y you can write b right because uh, b is equal to k to the power 1 by y so in place of b square you write uh, k to the power 1 by y whole square so here what will happen you can multiply this 2 to this 1 and you will get k to the power 2 by y. In the right hand side, you have uh, a into c, right? So, value of a is k to the power 1 by x and c value is also k to the power 1 by z. So, we substituted here that also and uh, you can add the powers 1 by x and 1 by z because there is a multiplication. So, these are uh, laws of indices. If you have a to the power m into a to the power n, then you can add the powers. You can write it as a to the power m plus n. Okay. So, with this, uh, your bases are same. Means, you have k in the base in the left hand side and k in the base in the right hand side. So, you can treat the powers. So, you have 2 by y is equal to 1 by x plus 1 by z. With this, you can clearly find the value of y after simplifying. You can take the LCM of uh, uh, x and z. So, you will get xz in the denominator. With that, you will get x in the numerator and z also in the numerator and you will have to add it. Okay. With this, you will get uh, y is equal to 2 into xz by x plus z. Now, this is a little tough problem. I am giving you this as an expected problem because if you learn this type of problems, then I am sure that you can answer the easy version of this type of problems. Okay. Few more expected questions. 
like this is one question given 2 to the power x is equal to 16 and 3 to the power y is equal to 81 find the value of x y so what you can do here is just to take 2 to the power x is equal to 16 and uh, you can write 4 in place of x because 2 to the power 4 is equal to 16. Like that only you can write 4 in place of y also because 3 to the power 4 is equal to 81. With this, uh, once you have the value of x and y, you can easily find the value of x into y, right? So x is also 4, y is also 4, multiply you will get 16. Another expected question, if a cube is equal to 125 and b square is equal to 1 by 36, what is the value of a, b? So, this also you can solve in the similar manner. See, a cube is equal to 125 means if you send the cube in the right hand side, that cube will become cube root, right? So, you will have a is equal to cube root of 125. With that, you will have a is equal to 5, right? Like that only b square is equal to 1 by 36 is given in the question. So, b will become square root of 1 by 36. So, you will have value of b as 1 by 6. The, in the question, they are telling you to find a into b. So, a is 5, b is 1 by 6. Just multiply, you will get 5 by 6. Okay. So, let me give you another expected question. So, this is the one. Here, you have to simplify this expression. Now, before going to solve this uh, expression, I want to give you this uh, loss of indices. I told you in the first expected problem uh, about this, right? a to the power m into a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. Like that only if you have a to the power m divided by a to the power n, it will be a to the power m minus n. If you have a to the power m whole to the power n, then you can just multiply the powers. If you have a to the power 0, then your answer will be 1. If you have a to the power 1, then your answer will be a only. And if you have a negative power, then that base will become the denominator if you remove the negative sign from the power. That is a to the power minus m will become 1 by a to the power m. Along with this laws of indices, I also recommend you to learn algebraic identities. You will get a list anywhere. It is very easy to find out the list in any textbook it will be given. So, you need to learn all those algebraic identities. Unless and until you learn these laws of indices and algebraic identities, you cannot solve these type of problems. Okay. Now, coming to this question. So, what are the things you should know in order to solve these problems? First is this law, then you should know about this law, then you should know about this algebraic identity. Okay, x minus y into x square plus xy plus y square is equal to x cube minus y cube. And uh, also you should know about this law. So this problem requires these information, all the four things you should be knowing. Okay, so using the first uh, law of indices, you can say that... Uh, the fraction can be written simply like this. The bases are same for the fraction, right? So, you can subtract. Whatever power is there in the denominator will come up in the numerator with a negative sign. Then we have a power whole to the power again, right? So, you can use this formula and you can just multiply the powers here. Now, as you can see the powers, it looks like this formula, right? So, the answer for this uh, identity is x cube minus y cube. So, you can apply it here like this. All the powers will become a cube minus b cube, b cube minus c cube and c cube minus a cube respectively. Now, once you have this type of uh, equation, you apply this law of indices and just add up all the powers with the same base. So, this should give you answer 1 because finally you will get x to the power 0 which will give you answer 1. Okay. Now, this was also a very tough problem but because it involved 4 things, I mean to say 3 laws of indices and 1 algebraic identity, I am giving you this question as an expected question. So, according to me, if you learn these things, I am sure that you will answer any question which will be asked in this category. Okay. So, 
please take this things seriously and learn algebraic identities and laws of indices now this was all about the expected questions right now i would like to discuss one most important question which was asked in karnataka tet 2024 it was a similar type of question and here they have given numbers in the question the same type of topic it is related to exponents and powers only the question is 3 to the power 6 whole to the power 1 minus 1 by 3 whole to the power 1 by 2 now here i have already given you answer it is 9 now what you have to do is pause the video right now and try to solve it by yourself okay i am giving you some time to solve it then later again play the video you will get this answer then you have to match it whether your procedure is same as ours okay and let us know in the comment section whether you are able to answer this question or no because this is the question from 2024 question paper which is the toughest question paper till date so if you are able to solve this problem then make sure to yourself that you will be going to answer this type of question in this exam correctly okay i will get motivated if you all like my videos and uh, if you all watch the full video and if you all share among your friends okay and uh, also to have direct interaction with us you can join our telegram channel and telegram group you will get the link below this video and uh, please keep working hard because already now the notification has come and if you have not applied still please do apply as soon as possible okay then meet you in the next session thank you all the best bye